Hey there, welcome to Manifest the Love of Your Life. The secrets to changing your love story forever without going through more dead end relationships, heartache, and even loneliness. Not only in this free training am I going to teach you how to manifest the love of your life, also known as your twin flame, but I am also going to teach you how to spot and avoid the twin flame imposter, also known as the false twin flame. You will discover what has been blocking real love in your life and how to remove it. You will escape the pain of past relationships and future relationship garbage and BS. You will have the confidence to finally let go of that ex. I'm going to show you how to effortlessly become a magnet for true love. So stop worrying if you are ever going to find real love or if it even exists, because I swear to you, it does. After taking this master class, you will know how to get yourself in energetic alignment to connect with your twin. And believe me, this person is out there and I guarantee they are looking for you too. Even if you think you may have already met this person, this free master class will show you the secrets to getting that relationship back on track or even possibly getting that person back into your life if you really screwed up the relationship. So if all that sounds good and you're ready to finally make it happen, let's get started. Let's make sure that you are absolutely 100% in the right place because I personally cannot stand it when someone wastes my time and I certainly don't want to do that to you. You are in the right place if one, you are desiring and ready for an intense, deep, meaningful relationship. Two, if you are ready to finally break the cycle of dead end relationships or your lonely losing streak. You are in the wrong place. Don't even bother watching this training. If you think I'm gonna give you some kind of magic spell or quick potion to instantly bring your knight and shining armor into your life, that's not what I'm gonna do. I will, however, though, give you the magical map to follow, but you have to do the work. You are also in the wrong place if you don't believe in a higher energy inside and outside of yourself. In other words, if you are a very analytical, left brain, logical person or an atheist, this training is not gonna resonate with you at all. So if you're serious and you're good with all that and you're not farting around here and you are totally serious about manifesting your twin flame, there's a couple things I need you to do. One, get yourself a pen and paper because you are going to want to take notes. I am gonna give you so much information, there's no way you're gonna be able to remember it all. Two, get some earbuds or go to a space where you're not gonna be distracted or interrupted for about an hour. So if you have little ones around, put a movie on, give them something to keep them entertained. I don't want you to miss one single sentence of this life-changing information that I am going to give you because you're multitasking. There's only one thing that is required of you really to have massive success with that training, and that's the courage to really look at yourself on a deep, energetic soul level. Manifesting the love of your life is not about how someone can complete you, make you whole, or, or fix you. It really has nothing to do with that. It's really all about you and you being your best possible version of yourself. And in order to do that, you need to do some deep-seated internal work. So let me give you an overall glimpse here as to what the twin flame relationship is like from someone who manifested theirs without even trying or realizing that is what they were doing. So you know what you have to look forward to. And so you also know that it is real and it is out there. All that stuff that you thought that was fake in the movies or BS on TV or what you may have even questioned when seeing someone and wondering, is that really real? Are they really in love like that? I am here to tell you 1000% Yes, it is real. And I was one of those people who didn't even think it was real, wasn't even sure if something like that existed or that I could even have it. After two failed marriages and attracting the same type wrong person, I was ready to throw in a towel for good. When you connect with your twin, your personal universe completely opens up. Things start to conspire and just magically happen in ways that you never even dreamed. It's like magic every single freaking day and the honeymoon phase, it doesn't end.
You will awaken and come to life in a way you have never, ever, ever experienced before. You will discover parts of yourself that you never even knew existed. 40 something years old right here and I am constantly experiencing and living a whole entire new wave of firsts in ways that completely blow the first totally out of the water. This person sees your true essence and your soul and loves you unconditionally for exactly who you are. You know each other inside and out, good and bad, and still love each other. Your ego dissolves and your true soul shines through. The most amazing part that I really, really freaking love about this kind of relationship is there isn't a desire to fix anyone or change anyone. There isn't any kind of criticism or judgment that arrives in a relationship when two people are just are afraid um, to see that they're not compatible with each other or the true essence of the relationship. There's no pushing, there's no pulling, there's no give and take, there's no compromises. It's pure, passionate, everyday bliss and the sexual chemistry that's just a bonus it's not the meaning or the foundation of the relationship when you are with your twin life really does become easy and effortless and full of passion in every single area of your life it spills over not just in your love life but your personal life and your professional life the best way I can describe this kind of relationship is intense passionate connection with or without sex. You experience, as God's honest truth here, you experience like a telepathic connection and you could feel each other's energy from like thousands of miles away. Sounds crazy. I swear to you, it is the God's honest truth. All that sounds pretty freaking amazing, right? So let me go over real quick everything that I'm going to cover in this training so you know exactly everything that you get to look forward to and what you're going to learn. First, we're going to go over the difference between a twin flame and a soulmate because they are not the same. Second, we're gonna go over what's called the false twin flame and some telltale signs that you may be with an imposter and not the real deal. So don't be so quick to assign the hottie that you just met or the guy who makes you batshit crazy but is phenomenal in bed as your twin. We're gonna go over what is and what is not manifesting because not everybody exactly understands it or how to do it the right way. We're gonna go over and I'm going to give you three simple steps that I did to manifest my twin without even trying. We're gonna go over what gets in the way of manifesting and completely slows it down or just flat out blocks love from entering your life. At the end, I'm gonna offer you a very in-depth, detailed, hand-holding packet full of life-changing tools and exercises. So let's back up a quick minute here and let me explain who I am and why I am sharing this life-changing information with you for free. Because you want to make sure whoever it is that you're listening to knows what the hell they're talking about, right? If this is your first time ever stumbling across and discovering me, my name is Judy Jamison and I am a psychic. Now, not the fortune teller type psychic, okay? I don't do that. What I do is I help and work with goal-oriented people to create and bring to life your dream life, all based on energetically what direction you are in, what is blocking you, how to remove them blocks, and even course correct so you know that you are 1 million percent on the right road to attracting to you what it is that you want versus going in the wrong way and just drawing in all hell in a handbasket and misery. I give people the secret deep-seated internal stuff that you're not even aware of, those tools to transform their lives. Now, whether or not you choose to use those tools is completely and totally up to you. Sound good? So how am I qualified to teach you this, how to manifest love? Well, one, not only did I do it, but I consider myself a master manifester. What really does that mean? So on top of manifesting my twin flame, I manifested the studio that I work out of for my other business. I manifested my house, a sports car, my Harley, a flourishing dream career that I never even imagined this is what I would be doing. Countless small things and all those big things that I just went over right there, I did it in a matter of six months. This stuff is real and it does work, I swear to you. You just have to know how to do it and do it right 
and I have all the experience and the proof to back it up and tell you it does work. You know when you discover something so phenomenal and life-changing and it just heals every aspect of your life and transforms your entire world in the most amazing, phenomenal ways? What do you want to do? You want to share that with everybody. Not only do you want to share it with everybody, you want to show them how they can do it too. So they can experience and feel exactly the same way you are living, eating, breathing, and feeling your everyday passionate, crazy love life. I know exactly what it feels like to feel unlovable, broken, lost, questioning if this kind of stuff even exists. Or maybe even feeling like you take one step forward and three steps back. You're questioning if you're even meant to ever have real love in your life. Because you know what? That kind of stuff only happens to other people, right? No. Wrong. It's going to happen to you. Plus, I get asked a lot of love questions when I do readings. And they pretty much all have the same repeat patterns, same solutions. So it's just easier for me to make a, a free training and deliver it to you all at once. Let me tell you a quick story here. In 2014, my second marriage ended in a very violent way. I was emotionally lost. I was lonely. I was completely and totally disconnected from myself as an individual. I had no idea who I was anymore or why I was even here. Back then, my psychic skills were not my full-time job. I questioned everything, yet continued with the cycle of doing what you need to do on a daily basis. Basically, just surviving every day. You wake up, you go to work, you pay the bills, you eat dinner, you do family stuff, right? You go to bed, rinse, wash, repeat. Rinse, wash, repeat all while feeling last on the priority list of life. That's not living, okay? That is surviving day by day. Can you relate? Do you know what that feels like? Are you living or are you surviving your life? I was doing everything I could to silence and suppress what my intuition was telling me and guiding me to do. Because in all honesty, I didn't like what it was telling me to do. You know when you're going through a shit storm, okay? You're not always in the right mental state and it's hard to tune into your own personal issues and see the truth versus what you want to see. We are more content being miserable, lying to ourselves than seeing the truth because the truth, you know what? Sometimes it's really painful and it sucks. I drank a lot to suppress what was really going on and escape my reality. Lots of wine drinking and partying. I did a lot of target practice. Of course, not while I was drinking and partying up and drowning myself in my sorrows to escape my reality, but to release the depression and the stress. I am not an angry person by nature, but during this time, I became so angry and resentful and lost and feeling negative that I had to go punch a bag five and six days a week as some form of a healthy outlet versus wanting to beat the shit out of somebody every day. I didn't know where to go or what to do. I just knew I was completely lonely and feeling dead inside and craving something or someone to fix that internal pain. I just wanted to feel loved. You know, if you keep ignoring your intuition, eventually the universe will intervene and catch up to you. It's not karma. But the universe's way of saying, enough is enough already, girl, wake up. If you are asking the higher powers to be to help and you just hand over the power, be prepared to get what you asked for, especially if you've been ignoring your gut a long time. If you can't course correct on your own, the universe will eventually do it for you. Why? because you asked it to. Let me explain how that works. I would set up shop out back on my deck around the pool. I would close my eyes and say to myself, why can't I just be with someone who loves me for me? Why can't I be with someone who's my best friend that I can just talk to without fear? Why can't I be with someone who has the same goals and dreams and desires and wants to enjoy life the same way I do? Why can't I be with somebody that I can confide in, right? And have a deep, meaningful conversation and at the end of the day, just feel connected, wanted, and loved. Can you relate to any of those thoughts? Do you ask yourself the same things or something similar? I would then do a half-assed meditation and ask God or anybody up there, help. I would then release all the whys. Why is this happening? Why is this not working? All that negative, draining, complicated BS. And step into pretending that I had that feeling 
that I was searching for and what I was lacking in my life. I was essentially having a make-believe affair in my head with someone who only existed in my fantasy land. I carried and talked to this person every single day like they were real, all in my head and in my heart. Oh, that fantasy person was and is real. I just didn't know it or believe it at the time. In fact, at the time, I have never even heard of what a twin flame was. All I knew is what I was seriously lacking and what I so desperately wanted and was not getting no matter how hard I tried in my physical life. So I had to make it up in my heart and in my head in order to fill that void. It seemed to be the only way that I could survive my days, right? Drinking wine, shooting a gun, and punching a bag. Yeah, combined with Judy's fantasy land. So remember I was telling you what happens if you continue to ignore your intuition and beg for help? This happened. The tower card represents major catastrophic changes or shifts that happen fast and there's nothing you can do about it. Ever experience your entire life as you knew it? Like a snow globe that's just turned upside down and shattered and shaken and then it's flipped back up? and you're trying to put together the pieces and you don't even know what in the world you're dealing with or where to start. I asked for the universe for help and this is what I get. You wonder if like you're cursed or you have some kind of karma coming back to you. So for my own safety and sanity, I had to leave the house. And the funny thing is, that's what my intuition kept nudging me to do for about three years and I kept ignoring it. So where did I go? I was temporarily homeless, right? I had to sleep at my shop. I kept my membership to Planet Fitness for $10 a month just so I can take a shower. It was not fun. If that isn't starting over, I don't know what, what is. Homeless, empty bank account, alone, broken, a broken hearted, lost, confused, you lose mutual friends on top of your family now being divided. Believe me, I know what it freaking feels like. But that time I spent sleeping at my shop in my spare office, something happened inside and my life started to bloom and open up. It was like a caterpillar getting ready to turn into a butterfly. How do you go from a lifestyle of making a six figure double income to nothing and feeling more alive and filled with passion than you ever have in your 40 some years of existence. Even though monetarily I had nothing that I was starting with, I had something priceless inside of me that moves mountains and you do too. It's the ability to tune into and tap into that magical power and not only create what it is that you want, but know how to attract your heart's desires to you without even doing anything. You don't need to bang your head into the wall anymore or go on all these wrong, repeat, boring dates. How does someone who doesn't have a pot to piss in manifest a new house, her studio, the love of her life, a sports car, a Harley, and so much more in a matter of six months? I'm about to share it all with you right now. Get a pen and paper ready. So before I give you the three simple steps my angels, my guides, and my deceased loved ones gave me, I need to give you something to build upon for when this free training is over. So let's start with topic number one, the difference between a twin flame and a soulmate because they are not the same. Like I said, I do a lot of readings and people always ask me, when will I meet my soulmate? Is he or she coming back? Um, how does he or she feel about me? Is he or she the one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people don't understand though that you have multiple soulmates and sometimes they're just not meant to stay in your life. As much as that sucks or hurts, it's the truth. Soulmates are what's part of your soul family and they are your perfect matches and key players in your life. You have multiple soulmates, okay? Soulmates are not just lovers. You know how you have that one friend that you've been friends with since like elementary school and they seem more of like a, a, a sister to you than your actual biological sister? That person's a soulmate. How about that love, right? From the past that will forever leave a mark on your heart? That person was a soulmate. The soulmate's purpose is to help you grow and expand right here on the earthly plane through life lessons, good and bad ones. They are made up of your soul family and they are here to help you learn about stuff here on earth. They come and go in your life depending on what energetic soul contract you created before you were born into your body and that's a whole nother lesson I'll get into in another time. What is a twin flame? The twin flame is your perfect mirror of you and you only have one twin. The purpose of a twin flame relationship is to help you grow and expand on a soul level, 
not the earthly playing field. They are here to help you truly awake your personal self and awareness and dissolve the ego. Really stepping into your soul and who you were born to be is your best friend who thinks and acts just like you. They know you're good and you're bad and everything is still wonderful and perfect exactly the way you are. They love you for who you are, not what you can do for them or how you even make them feel. This relationship is so deep and intense, you can energetically feel each other when you're not physically in each other's presence. God's honest truth. You and your twin are more than just lovers. You're each other's teachers, best friends, therapists, and so on. You can pretty much feel what they're feeling and know what they're thinking because it's you. It's your mirror image. Remember your first love, your first kiss, your first adult experience? The twin flame completely blows that away. All the passion, the little butterflies in your first kiss and all that was amazing. You ain't freaking felt nothing yet until you get together with your twin. The honeymoon or euphoric high you get when you normally meet someone kind of dissolves and fades away over time. With the twin relationship, it spills over, like I said, into every area of your life. It's like an orgasmic kiss on the physical, spiritual, and energetic level. Pretty freaking intense stuff, right? So let's go into topic number two, because this is a really big one and it's freaking important. The false twin flame and some telltale signs that you might be with one. So don't be so quick to assign the hottie that you just met as your twin. Warning. I read so many people, mostly women, um, who fall into this type trap. Don't hurry to label someone so quickly after knowing them a short time, no matter how amazing your connection appears to be. I read so many girls and women who convince themselves a certain person is their twin and stay in extremely unhealthy relationships for long periods of time and sometimes forever on an emotional roller coaster of extreme highs and lows. A real twin flame relationship does go through a number of stages, but quite often people can't recognize their false twin as being false until they meet the real. So I'm going to go over here and, and explain to you real quick how you can pinpoint it and point it out and get them red flags raised and aware. If you are truly with your twin, you let the relationship evolve and deepen gradually over time. It just naturally happens. You don't have to force anything. The universe will give you intuitive clues. So a uh, personal example, when I was constantly seeing the number 11 everywhere, I saw it everywhere. I didn't know what it meant or why it kept popping up. One day a girlfriend came over to my shop and I was telling her about this guy that I met and uh, we shared the same landlord at our studios and our shops. And her exact words, when she looked out my back door, she's like, let me guess, door number 11. Wow, I never even <laughs> realized that. Even though it didn't quite register everything that was going on, I just naturally allowed it to unfold. You will get your own little internal universal clues. So how do you know right off the bat if this person is a twin or not? Here are some examples. One. A false twin will magnify your deepest fears while a real twin will help you overcome them. Basically, a false twin will bring out your ego and lower your energy while a true twin will be more inspiring and positive and uplifting. Two, a false twin will be filled with negative toxic energy. Despite knowing that they're bad or unhealthy, you'll feel yourself wanting to go back to them like an addict. But a real twin will feel natural, uplifting, and fulfilling. A false twin will require lots of freaking forcing and trying and pushing and shoving. A real twin doesn't require any of that. A false twin will have an insane energetic connection in bed, but a real twin will take intimacy and passion into every area of your life. The, the false twin, that's it. It's just sex. That's the only thing that you guys do great together. I can list so many more, but you get the idea, right? There's some really good telltale red flags I just gave you. Even when we talk about the runner and the chaser phase of the twin flame relationship, they won't treat you like shit and make you feel bad or less than what your really true value is worth. That's something totally different. That's called abuse. So let's go into topic number three. What is and isn't manifesting because not everybody understands what it is or how to really do it the right way. I am a queen at manifesting. I consider myself a master manifester and I already went over and explained the big things that I manifested within a matter of six months and I continue to manifest 
big, wonderful, phenomenal things now in my life. Do you know what manifesting is? Yes, no, maybe. You can Google it and get tons of different answers, but the basic quick version is using the law of attraction to bring your desires into your physical reality. It's like real life freaking magic. You think it, you feel it, you desire it, you wholeheartedly believe it, you connect with the energy of it, and then you release the control as to how it comes to you. And it just freaking comes to you. What manifesting is not sitting around thinking, hoping, wishing, and waiting for something to happen. You have to energetically know how to connect with you on the inside in order to align yourself with your desires. If you are not in the correct mental, spiritual, energetic state, it will take a lot longer and some serious freaking practice in order for you to bring in what you really want. If you are not in the right mental state and you are on the total hot mess express, I can help you with that later on at the end of the training. So let's go into topic number four, the three exact simple steps that I personally took to manifest my twin flame. In fact, they're pretty much the same three steps that I do to manifest anything. This is the meat and the potatoes of this training. Remember earlier I said I would give you a magical roadmap, but you had to do the work? Well, this is that point where you also need to look at yourself on a very, very, very freaking deep energetic level. This is where people screw up because they only look at the outside surface and not really deep down inside. So those three steps, I'm going to give them to you right now and then I'm going to go over in detail and explain more. Discover what your blocks are, release and remove those blocks, and then reprogram your vibe to where you connect with it and release the control. So let's go into detail with each individual one here. So step number one, discover what your blocks are. Well, that sounds kind of easy, right? But most people just look at the, the top layer, outer shell, obvious stuff. You must be willing to first focus on you and do your personal internal work on yourself for yourself and no one else. This is all about you. You have to get very, very heart-centered and focused and selfish and put you first. Discovering what may be blocking you can be really hard for some people because like I said, they just look at the outer obvious stuff. You may think you don't have blocks, but I guarantee you, you do, we all do, and they change over time based on energetically what you are in alignment with. If you are willing to focus on you and open the deepest, darkest parts of your soul and unearth and expose everything that's been getting in the way, you, my friend, are one badass person who has more strength and willpower than you even freaking know. Twin flame relationships are not about someone fixing you, completing you, or making you whole again. That is a space of needing and codependency and desperation, and that's just a breeding ground and a recipe for heartache and disaster over and over and over and over again. If you are coming from that hot mess express, mental madness type place, that is exactly what you are going to attract to you through the law of attraction either more crappy relationships, codependency, or even loneliness. You have to really be strong and willing to truly open yourself up and see what you find. Now again, like I said, I'm not talking about the basic obvious stuff, right? I'm talking about the deep-seated stuff that you're not aware of. Things that may have even molded you uh, from your childhood that lurk deep in your subconscious that you totally forgot about or maybe even locked away and threw away the key to. Some of those blocks may not even be yours. They could be other people's beliefs and thought processes that you absorbed as a fact and it really had nothing to do with you. Let me give you a few examples here so you understand what I'm talking about. If you grew up with one of your parents constantly telling you that real love doesn't exist or it's a bunch of baloney or it's all movies, fairy tale stuff, eventually you're going to believe that. That's going to be one of your blocks. Your belief system is wrong. Or if you came from a past relationship where you were abused, right, where someone constantly shit on you or squashed you, you would eventually feel like you're undeserving or not worthy of. Again, that's somebody else's BS that was dumped on you and you absorbed it and believed it. You need to work on that and remove it. You have something inside of you that gives you the power to move mountains and create magic 
We all have it. That power and that insight does not come from other people. They can enhance it, but the origin of it is really inside you. No one can take that away unless you let them. If you don't know how to truly go deep and unearth and do some digging and stirring up all that dirt and seeing what's deep, deep, deep layered in there, I can show you how to do that at the end of this training. As my marriage and my home life was falling apart and taking a serious dump down the freaking toilet, you realize that you have zero control over what other people say, think, feel, and do. You can only control you, your own thoughts, actions, and behaviors. So I stopped focusing on trying to make everybody else happy and I tuned into myself and that's what you need to do. Not like a selfish F everyone else, but internally like self-love. Finding love wasn't really what I was looking for at the time, but feeling it was. I was seriously lacking, craving, and longing for positive attention in some way, shape, or form, remember? So what were some of my personal blocks to help you out a little bit with understanding? One, my belief system of love was completely wrong and screwed up. Two, I was overcome with a lot of fears. Three, I had self-body images. When I looked in the mirror, I didn't like how I look. I did not find myself very desirable at all. That's a block. You got to freaking love yourself, right? Because you want your twin to love every freaking inch of you. You need to learn how to love every inch of you. So let's go into secret or step number two, right? Release and remove those blocks. Now that you would have uncovered what has been stopping you and blocking you from attracting the true love that you desire, once you discover the secret message, you can then release it. Bye, Felicia. If you don't understand the hidden blessing in the negative or in the past, those things that you've been experiencing will continue to happen over and over and over again. Think of it like a video game, okay? Until you complete one level and get it, you won't go to the next level. You're going to keep repeating the same crap over and over again with the same or different people. I don't know about you, but I was pretty sick and freaking tired of the broken shit record. Most of all, I was tired of feeling alone and not loved. So something inside of me, remember I told you, you want to tune into you and the universe will give you little clues. Something inside of me told me to start a kickboxing class. I never exercised a day in my life, right? It wasn't really my thing, but I wanted to beat the shit out of somebody pretty much every day. Remember, you cannot control others. You can only control you. And since I was already spending so much time in my fantasy land, I started to plug back into my spirituality because at home it was made fun of and just not understood. I didn't even have the freedom to just be me. I had to be somebody else. Do you know what that's like? Rewrite and conquer and remove each and every individual little block that you have. It doesn't matter if it's little or big. It's a block, remove it. I went over completely destroying all of my blocks and overcoming them. I took my power back and that's what you're gonna do. And I wasn't doing it for somebody else. I did it all for me. Remember, you have to put you first. You up on the freaking pedestal where you deserve to be. So during that time, I met somebody, but I didn't really like him. In fact, he resembled everything I did not freaking want. I didn't know what I wanted, but I knew what I did not want. And he seemed to resemble all the what I do not want. And it was weird. I clearly remember standing in my studio and all of a sudden I got an image of the two of us coming together and like shooting up into the heavens like with flames coming out of us like we were on a rocket ship. At the time, like I said, I had no idea what a twin flame was. But whatever, let's move on. Because remember, I'm not looking for love but I'm looking to create it within myself. Let's go into secret or step number three. Reprogram your vibe, connect with it, and release the control over it. So at this point, you would have discovered what your blocks are, right? You're working on them, releasing them now. This is where all the magic happens and you really connect with that mountain moving powerhouse inside of you and start activating all of your freaking fabulousness. By connecting with my pain five and six days a week through a punching bag, I discovered all those hidden messages and I transformed what was something negative into something so positive and it fueled me to get things done. I discovered all the secret messages, even the people who, who shit on me and helped destroy and had a big hand holding in completely screwing up my entire life. 
I found myself thanking them. Everything on the outside to the typical person would have looked like I was living hell on a handbasket. But on the inside, everything couldn't have been more freaking perfect. By doing this and getting myself to that point, I released the ego. I released the pain. I released the forcing. I released the questioning, the pushing, everything. I released all the control and wanting and demanding. Why? Why did this happen? Why is this going on? And I tuned into something so freaking better. It didn't matter how much my ex called me names or what people said or how much money was in my bank account. I was freaking alive. For the first time in my life, I was effing alive. There wasn't nothing I could not do when I tuned into me. You tune into you. You will discover and know your value, your worth, and you will honor that and you will listen to it. No one will have the power to take advantage of you, walk on you, disgrade you, disgrade you, degrade you, or throw you to the curb. You know why? Because you won't tolerate it. You overcome all of your fears. Everything that you're scared of with the unknown, uh, anything, anything that is scaring you or frightening you, throw it all away because it doesn't freaking matter. You know why? Because you are creating it right now. All the right people, places, circumstances will all just magically fall into your lap. You will discover and know who you are, why you are here. You, do you know how freaking amazing that is? When you really know who you are and why you're here, so many people go through their entire lifetimes and never find out. No more going through the daily motions of just surviving each day or living life with blinders on just to get through to the next day. For what? Your entire belief system and the way you look at love, the way you look at people, the way you look at yourself, the way you look at life, completely transforms and changes. You become a whole new freaking person. You become the true you that you were born to be and you start living the life that you were born to live. I told you I already met my twin, but at first I didn't know he was my twin and I didn't even like him. What I discovered was he was projecting my mirror image of the parts of me I didn't like. How freaking crazy is that? He was going through the exact same things I was going through at the exact same time. It's just we were masking it and trying to put on a fake face. That's how the twin flame adds to and enhances you on a personal soul level. If you know how to tune into that and see it and understand how it works, skyrockets into the heavens. It is easy, I swear to you. My personal life and my relationship is easy. It's effortless, it flows, it's natural, it just freaking works. There's no effort, there's no straining, there's no forcing, there's no demanding, none of that. Can you imagine what it's like to just be you and have the freedom to be you all the freaking time and have someone who looks at you and sees your magic and helps ignite it because they see how freaking beautiful it is and they freaking love it and they want to see it all the time. This person takes you and puts you on a pedestal because they see how freaking amazing you are. No stress, no pressure, no fears, no limiting blocks. Completely, totally free. So let me give you two secrets here to speed up the process where most people struggle and completely screw it up. One, release control over the details as to how and when. A lot of people will perceive this is how it's going to happen and this is when it's going to happen. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. It don't work like that. You do have some control as to when based on your energy and what it is that you're doing. But if you're just focused on this is how it's going to happen and this is where, stop. You're controlling and you're blocked. The second thing that you need to do where most people screw up is just step into the flow, be in the moment, and enjoy your story as it unfolds. If you are not in the flow state, not having patience, I know patience is a sucky one, it's hard, especially when you really want something, um, or you're forcing or feeling desperation, that ain't going to get you anywhere. You have to truly trust Believe, expect it, and release control over it. Let's go over another big blocker to manifesting, okay? This is the, the biggest numero uno devil that stops it all, completely derails it, picks you up, and tries to put you on the other track. It's called your ego. Do you know what your ego is? Yes, no, kinda, maybe? Let me explain it real quick for you. You know that other voice in your head 
okay? The one that makes you second guess everything and, and brings out all the confusion and the fears. The voice that tells you all these negative things and puts fear in your head, basically. The voice that says, I'm not lovable, this is never gonna happen, this is a bunch of BS. You know, the other voice that completely tears you down and rips you apart. Maybe you tell yourself you're too fat, you're too ugly, you're not pretty enough, you're not outgoing enough. The other voice that tells you, you know, to just go lose your shit and kick somebody's ass or go on Facebook and do some kind of stalking and see who or she or your ex is with. Even maybe going as far as to try and hurt somebody who hurt you. I know, like you want them to feel what you're feeling. Uh-uh. That's all your ego. The ego is like this little child that wants your full attention and doesn't know how to express it in a healthy, productive way. It's the part of you that speaks or acts without thinking and then you're left feeling like a major idiot, making things completely worse. Why? Because you fed into it without understanding or really evaluating what the underlying issue or the blessing in disguise is. The ego is like that child that just demands and wants things right now, and it wants to control and dictate how it happens. That is a couple of the many ways your ego will completely derail you and screw up your life. So you gotta kinda evaluate. Who has the steering wheel of your life? So let's do a nice little recap here of all of the things that we touched on and went over. We went over the difference between a twin flame and a soulmate. I gave you some telltale signs that you might be with an imposter. We went over what is and is not manifesting. We went over in detail the three exact steps that I take to manifest anything in my life. And then we also went into what gets in the way of manifesting. You're still here at this point. I'd say you're pretty freaking serious and invested in having real love in your life. Let's go over how you can skyrocket your results. This is where I was telling you I have a very detailed, in-depth, helping hand video course filled with life-changing tools and exercises that you can do at your leisure on your own time. You see, the reality is we're not raised in a world that teaches you how to energetically connect with some. We're raised in a world that tells you what qualities to look for and a bunch of other things to make you feel secure or look loved or be complete. But that's not real love. And most of the time, when you're living life like that, you're not even with the person you're supposed to be with, so you're depriving yourself of wonderful, phenomenal things. It's an artificial fill based on worldly masks and limitations or what your family members or friends believe. There's a huge difference between manifesting the real love of your life and manifesting and settling for someone who just temporarily fills a void in your heart. Or manifesting harmony and passion versus the same repeat BS over and over again. I can show you the exact detailed steps, okay? I can show you really how to go deep and dig in there and expose everything so you know exactly what is blocking you. Instead of you trying to prolong and, and stretch out and trying to figure out this big, lengthy, in-depth process. Or really just doing things the hard way. What you are wishing and what you are desiring is very, very real and achievable. Believe it or not, you are the one who decides whether or not you get it. You control it. Not someone else or just leave it up to the universe. You do it. Remember, you have that power in you. You know that phrase, when the time is right? Well, guess what? You have a say in when that time is right, and it's right freaking now. A psychic can only tell you what things may or may not happen depending on what you are in energetic alignment with at the time. Do you know exactly where you are energetically at in alignment right now to attract real love in your life? I do so many love readings for people, and like I said, they all have the same repeat patterns. People just want quick, fast answers as to when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, but they don't realize they create it. So at this point, you're still here. You have what it takes to create it and make it happen. You're not the leaner who's just going to leave it thrown out to the universe for someone else to decide. You create it based off of your vibe. And I want to make sure you know with every single ounce of your being that you are in the right vibe to have that kind of love. So if you're asking yourself or you're wondering, how do I know what my love vibe is or what level that I'm at? How do I know if I'm starting to um, attract or block or completely repel love at all in your life? If you're asking yourself, how do I stop that cycle 
of repeat bad relationships. Maybe you have that invisible tattoo on your head that only a certain kind of Mr. Wrong can say it. How do you discover and unearth those deep-seated blocks that are deep, deep, deep down there? How do you remove them blocks and reprogram it? How do you get out of your head and tune into yourself? Or how do you even learn how to read all the secret messages? How do you discover the purpose behind the past so you now know how to create a new future? How do you release your ego and step into your true power? And how do you clear away, okay, and know exactly what it is that you want so you're not giving the universe mixed signals sending you all kinds of wackos? Or like I said, maybe you feel like you already met your twin, um, but you're going through some rough patches or the relationship got completely screwed up and you want to know how to get that person back again, I can help you with all that. I have an online course that goes over the specific how-tos and so freaking much more. I can show you how to energetically connect with your twin from thousands of miles away even if you've never met. I can show you how to read those secret codes along with the detailed energetic process to remove them. Remember earlier I told you that when you connect with your twin, the universe completely opens up and it's like the entire magical world just comes in and conspires all in your favor. 100% God's honest truth. If you want it, you can totally have it. So this online course, it's called Three Simple Steps to Manifest Your Twin Flame Effortlessly. So you can ditch your crappy love story and finally have the loyal, honest, trustworthy love that you deserve. You get 25 video lessons, seven different workbooks, including some crazy ass freaking bonuses. My favorite bonus though is how to energetically connect with your twin so you feel their energy. Um, I know it sounds really crazy, it's the God's honest truth, but it's like energetic sex. I can show you how to feel their energy. So this way when you finally do meet, you know in their presence, you've already felt them, you know what they feel like. So let me give you real quick here just the bonuses. This is all the free stuff that comes with it. First there's a meditation on cord cutting, right? Because you need to release some th old past things in you and make room for new love basically it's 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 basically getting all the garbage off you it's like a spiritual and an energetic cleaning bonus number two is my full-blown cord cutting ritual depending on how deep if you still have that x that you just can't get out of your head you need to do a cord cutting I call it a ritual it's more like a ceremony my girlfriend calls it the ghosts of boyfriend's past because it'll release fears it blocks the ego anything that is stopping or slowing down your desires. I give you 20 simple exercises that you can do to get yourself in alignment. They're kind of like no-brainer type things that you really don't even need to think about. If you have really deep-seated um, blocks, right, really past traumatic stuff, um, I go through what's called a mirroring exercise to where it'll help go through a whole entire healing process if you have severe blocks around love and self-love this will help expose them and heal them another bonus i have is what's called the love bath okay now it sounds really good right but really you're taking a bath by yourself well when you meet your twin you could take it together this is all meant for people who have um self-image issues okay how to remove them self-limiting issues and and truly love the skin that you're in right because you want your twin to love up on all your skin right there's so much more and I, I'm not gonna take up all this more time telling you about the bonuses but remember the three basic steps right in this course I go over in detail in three different modules so the first one is what is blocking you right so in this module we dive really deep and uncover all of your love blocks not only do we dive to the obvious what's on the surface but the deep subconscious stuff that you're not even aware of. Even things, like I said, that may not even be your own, that you don't even realize aren't yours because they've been there so freaking long. This is also where you'll discover energetically what vibrational level you are at as far as are you really at the bottom, you got a lot of work to do, or you know what, you're pretty good, you're halfway there, or you know what, girlfriend, it's coming soon. This first module, you will be able to gauge energetically where you are at and how much work you need to do. The second module was secret number two, right? Removing and releasing your blocks. So in this module, we go over really how to take your power back from anybody that you would have either accidentally or wholeheartedly given it to. But here, you need to get your power back. And this is where we go over getting your beliefs in alignment, ditching all your fears for good, um, reading the secret messages, and even cord cutting. It's really how to make room for the new love in your life. And module number three is aligning yourself with your love vibe. 
So at this module, you are now crystal clear on exactly what it is that you want. You're not giving mixed signals to the universe. You also connect with and discover that magical mountain moving power inside of you and you are living, eating, breathing it, feeling it, and walking it for everybody to say. This is where you catapult yourself into your absolute highest vibrational frequency. This is where you can feel your twin even when you haven't met. Here is where you also learn all about the ego and how to totally release it so you'll know when its little head starts creeping up and you gotta like flick it away and give it the finger and <laughs> go the other way. So what is all that worth to you? What would you expect to pay for all that amazing, life-changing, transformational training from someone who knows what the hell they're doing? Let me tell you what I charge, okay? To work with someone one-on-one -on -one so you understand the offer I'm about to give you. Your jaw is gonna freaking drop when you see <laughs> what I'm gonna give this course to you for. My current rate right now at the point in making this video is $125 an hour for one-on-one -on -one readings or $200 an hour for one-on-one -on -one psychic development personal training. If you were to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, it would take anywhere from 20 to 30 hours uh, to go through all of the course content and the course materials. So that comes up to somewhere around $3,700. Crazy, I know. But you're not working directly with me here, so obviously I'm not going to ask you to pay that. So if you did the math, and I just gave you all of those video contents that you would do at your own time, not including the bonus content, just the actual course content comes out to somewhere around $650. The bonus content, figure another $400. So that comes somewhere around $1,100. But remember why I made this training, right? No one should ever have to go through and feel last, unlovable, forgotten about, or not worth having love in your life. Right now, I'm giving you the opportunity to have all of those secrets, the entire holy grail of maps, and even secret tools and cheat sheets for less than $200. I want everyone to experience what real true love is like you are here to enjoy life and all of its pleasures not to be alone and go through a bunch of bs and i want to give it to you at a price that i feel is well worth it and very low and affordable for anybody let me tell you what makes this course so freaking sweet it shows you the specifics on how to specifically how to do everything that I just went over in this free training. Three main steps, three main modules, that's simple. It's set up in bite-sized video modules, so there's nothing lengthy, there's no 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. It's all nice bite-sized chunks, so you can stop and pick up at any time and it won't screw your whole sequence up. They're also set up to accommodate your personal life, so you can watch the video lessons, you can listen to them, or you can read them. Put your earbuds in and just sit back and listen, or if you're, you know, with in a room somewhere with people and you don't want them knowing what you're doing, just put it on mute and you can read, read all the video lessons. You have access to it for life, forever. You could binge watch it, the entire thing, or take it at your own pace. Whatever it is that you want, it is yours. And I give it to you all at once. It's not like an e-course where it's dripped out over time and you gotta wait. No, I don't like that. I can't stand that. Just give me, give me all the goods at once. And when I have three freaking hours all to myself, I do it all. You get it all at once. So really, the only question is, how serious are you? At this point, if you're still watching, you're pretty freaking serious and you have what it takes to do it. You have nothing to lose. Well, maybe if you keep doing what you've been doing, right? Then you get the same outcomes or just continue being alone. I don't want that for you. Do you want that for you? No. I can't choose for you. You have to make the decision. You can make the decision now, okay? I can lead you to the water, but I can't force you to drink it. And I can't force you to change your love story right now if you're not ready. I can't click the button that's underneath the video right here for you. You have to do it for yourself. My life seriously consists of a fairy tale freaking dream life full of freaking endless passion platters. And it's no longer in here. It's in my real life reality. I am high on life every single freaking day, practically needing to smack myself and wake up and know, wow, 
this is real. This is freaking real. This really is my life. It's not somebody else's. And it's not a, a Disney movie I'm watching. You can ask anybody who knows me personally or make sure you become a fan of my Facebook page and just watch me when I go live. My dreams have manifested into my reality and yours can too. Everything that I thought was complete and total BS that didn't exist concerning true love, Everything that I thought I wanted to swear off for good after two failed marriages, my life freaking rocks right now. Sunday strolls in the Corvette, rides on the Harley, we manifest together. Right now we are manifesting a new construction home. So if you want to have and experience all of that stuff, I'm telling you, your twin is out there and they are looking for you too. The sooner you get yourself in alignment, the sooner that union will take place. Why deprive you and somebody else of the true passion and love that you're supposed to experience. If you're ready right now, all you gotta do is click the buy now button right underneath this video. Putting yourself first and taking that step and letting the universe know you're freaking ready and you're ready now, deliver me the hottie. You are worth it and you will have it, believe me. It will transform your relationship with yourself energetically and align you with your twin. Click that button below and you get instant lifetime access to the I can't freaking wait and I am so excited for you to have the kind of love that you truly desire and deserve. You just got to hit the button below the video to get started. Let me show you the exact detailed holy grail of specific instructions to get your twin in your freaking life right now. Click the button. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. You can have your cake and eat it too. In fact, you deserve your freaking cake. It is time for you to have your cake. Please, I beg you, do not put yourself last on the priority list. You are freaking worth it and you deserve it. Hit the button now because your twin is waiting for you.